Okay, so what we're going to do now is move on to our oil pastel. So you're going to just be working with two oil pastels, a black and a sorry, a black, a white and a black. Now, obviously, this this first bit is very easy. So you're going to start off with your white, and you're going to mark it in from one side to the other. Now, these oil pastels get pretty grubby. Uh, if when you pick your white oil pastel up, it's got grey and black and other colours on the end of it, use a spare piece of paper and just, just rub off the end of it until you can see the white of the oil pastel. Okay, so that's my first box, nice and simple. And then obviously my last box is going to be with a black oil pastel. Now, oil pastels are a fantastic material, but they are pretty messy. So you've got to be really careful when you do this. And when you finish doing this, we're going to have to put a sheet of newspaper, newsprint between the pages of your book. If you don't do this, put the newsprint between the pages of your book, the oil pastel will go everywhere and it will really affect the piece of work that's on this page. So I'm going to do that black box at the bottom. Now, when we're working up the top half, the lighter half, we're going to put this white on first and then we're going to, we're going to use this, this technique that works so well with oil pastels which is blending. Now, it's not smudging, it's blending. So we're going to get that white and we're going to put that all over that first box. Okay. Then I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm very lightly and very carefully going to put a few flecks of that black over the top of that white square. Now I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm now going to use my white oil pastel and using little circular motions I'm going to pick up that black and I'm going to work it into the surface of this square and that's going to give me a grey. And that's going to be the first grey on my tonal ladder. Now it's a little patchy you should be able to see that. I'm going to brush off those excess bits. So if I want to, I can use my finger and I can just smooth that out a little bit. So that that colour is still going to be a little bit patchy, but it's going to look a little bit smoother. It's going to fit that box a little bit better. Now, this is a big step from here to here, maybe a bit too big. So if I use my white, and I apply some pressure. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to lift some of this oil pastel back off the surface and you can see that there coming off with these little shavings. I'm going to brush that off to one side and then I'm going to go back in with my white. I'm just going to lighten that up if I can, just a few shades. And then what I know now is that when I do my second box I need to go a little bit easier on the black. Okay. Now, on this next a third box, I'm going to start with a white base again. And this time, I'm going to go a bit easier with my black. And start with that. And see how that pans out. Okay, that's going to be too light, I can tell that already. So, we're going to go in a bit more. And then we're going to rub that in. And you can see how that looks. And at this point, I'm going to switch around to my finger. Now, I don't really want to put any more white on here. I just want to work this in with black. So I'm going to take that back again. Just work that over the top, just a little bit more. And just work that into the square. See how it looks. Okay, that's not bad. I'm going to take a little bit more just up to these edges, try and neaten off these lines. Okay, that's looking pretty good now. I think I'm happy with that. Right, now for my next box, I'm going to keep going with my white, but this is going to be the last box where the white is the base colour. And I'm not going to put quite so much down this time because this is, this is kind of our midway point. 
and I'm definitely going to go a little heavier with the black. I'm going to leave that like that and then I'm just going to go straight in with my finger this time. And I'm going to move those around and I'm going to see how that looks. Okay, that's going to need us some more black on there, so I'm just going to build that black up. Now, I'm going to have a look at this, see how that works tonally with the rest of my boxes and I think that's for the time being I'm going to just sit with that I'm going to just leave that how it is now on my next box I'm going to start with a black base because we're making this switch now as we go towards this darker area now black is a very 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 strong pigment so we don't want to get too carried away here so I'm just going to go over my box And then I'm going to go in with my white. So we're just doing a little reverse. Let's try and get these darker tones. And I'm going to use my finger as always. Let's just blend those in. And I'd say that's pretty good. And then for my last box. Again, coming in with my black and I feel like here I can afford to go a little heavier and then just a little bit of white over the top a little bit of blending in with my finger and that should be fine And I would say that I'm relatively happy with those. I think there's a possibility that this box here can maybe be just a fraction lighter. So I'm just going to try a little bit of white in there. Now I know already I've got black on the tip of my finger from the box below. But I also know that there wasn't a lot of oil pastel on this box, not as much as some of the others. So I do have a little bit to play around with. So looking at that, I would say that I'm relatively happy with that as a oil pastel tonal strip. So that's how we do our art.